first major rally of the motorsport calendar happened on Saturday at the 2010 Wydean Forest Rally. 163 vehicles were entered in the event this year, which took in 45 miles of stages within the Forest of Dean. At around 8 o'clock, the first car left service, heading for the first stage, Mailscott, a six-mile blast through the woods down to the River Wye and back. The rally was over almost after it had begun for Tim Freeman and Ian Oakey. Rally fans stepped in to try and help them fix their car, leading to some risky roadside repairs. I pressure pump. Although they got going again, the pair had to retire after the stage. After stage four, the crews headed back to the service at Chepstow, where we caught a few words with last year's winner, Nick Elsmore. Yeah, not bad at all. I knew it was going to be a tough task, trying to keep up the World Rally cars, and you know, they are a little bit ahead of me, but uh, we've had no problems. We're pushing 110%, like I promised. Um, you know, one mistake and I'm there, as you know, I'm going to be overtaking them. So, uh, you know, they've got to keep a cool head and so by. Yeah, it's all good, no complaints. I took 12 seconds out of my fastest stage time I've ever done in male Scott, so we're definitely on the limit. Like I said, I'm up against technology of the World Rally cars, and I don't think the Group A cars can overcome that. So uh, I think it might be a slightly out of my reach. Uh, we we'll give it all on speed chase. I think, you know, maybe if they get tired, I can take a few seconds out of them. And uh, if I can't do it in speed chase, then we'll just settle for the finish. All was not well with the Peugeot Cosworth of Andy Burton. The Cosworth engine wasn't getting enough oil due to a faulty sensor. Andy's mechanics worked hard to try and fix the problem and his son Josh, who was co-driving, tried to adjust the engine sensor with his laptop. The pair retired on the following stage with a cracked engine block. Even in the car's worst hour, the Peugeot Cosworth still drew a good crowd in the service area. Simon Tyser and Cliff Simmons had a bad off shortly after this corner. <laughs> the 
The aftermath of the accident was caught on the in-car camera of Dave Jenkins and Graham Cox. <laughs> Simon and Cliff were lucky to escape serious injury, given that their Ford Escort had rammed backwards into a tree at about 100 miles an hour. The stage was then stopped, leaving long delays for the rest of the crews waiting to go through. The remaining crews raced through sallow valets in darkness, bringing the 2010 Wydean Rally to a close.